In this video, we are going to learn common source stage of a MOSFET with diode connected load. The first thing is, what is diode connected load? As we discussed in the previous video, having a resistive load, especially in the integrated circuits or CMOS technology, is going to be costly because it takes more area and expecting a very precise value of resistance is difficult. Hence, if you can use a MOSFET itself as a load, it is a lot better and in fact in integrated circuits it's going to be the most efficient way of doing. So first of all let's see what is diode connected load. So when we say diode it's going to be two terminal device but we know MOSFET is a three terminal device. In fact to be precise it's a four terminal device if we consider the body terminal as well. But in general we talk about three terminals drain, source and gate. Now, to make it a two terminal device, we have to connect two terminals together at least. We cannot connect gate and source together because then VGH should be greater than VTH. That cannot be possible if we connect gate and source together. We cannot connect drain and source together because in that case there won't be any current flowing. The only possibility we have is connecting the drain and the gate. In that case, we will be left with two terminals. So, this is a diode connection or MOSFET as a diode. Now let's see the IV characteristics to understand where this diode connected MOSFET will be operating. So we know this is saturation region, this is triode region or linear region. This demarcation line between the triode region and saturation region is corresponding to VDS is equal to VGS minus VT. Now in this diode connected MOSFET, we know that VDS is equal to VGS. And obviously if a MOSFET has to be in saturation region, we know VDS should be greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. Now as we know VDS is equal to VGS, obviously VGS will be greater than VGS minus VT. Which means this diode connected MOSFET is going to be in saturation region given the condition that VGS is greater than VT. So if this demarcation line is VGS minus VT, where will be VGS? Because VDS is equal to VGS, right? So it will be shifted by VT. So hence it will start at VT. This line is corresponding to VDS is equal to VGS. So point to remember that if VGS or VDS is greater than VT in this diode connected MOSFET, the MOSFET is always going to be in saturation region. Now let's look at the small signal model of this diode connected MOSFET. So we know the small signal equivalent model for this one. The small signal equivalent circuit of a MOSFET is like this, where in this case drain and gate are connected together. So let's connect both of them, which means VDS will be equal to VGS. In that case, the current ID flowing will be equal to GN times VGS plus VDS over RD, where we know VDS is equal to VGS. Hence, let's substitute that VDS equal to VGS. In that case, we can write ID is equal to GN times VDS plus VDS over RD. This can be written as GM plus 1 over RD times VDS, which means this diode connected MOSFET is going to be equivalent to a resistance in small signal equivalent. That value will be equal to VDS over ID is equal to 1 over GM plus 1 over RD. This can be written as 1 over GM times RD over 1 over GM plus RD. This will be equal to 1 over GM in parallel with small RD. This will be the small signal resistance that the diode connected load would offer. That is 1 over GM in parallel with small RD. In fact, a simple way to remember is 1 over GM has the units of ohms and small RD also has ohms. As we discussed, now let's have this diode connected MOSFET as load for the common source amplifier instead of 
a capital RD resistance that we had in the previous video. So this is how the circuit is where M2 is the transistor which is connected in diode fashion and M1 is the main amplifying MOSFET here. Now let's see the small signal equivalent model for this circuit. First thing is making VDD equal to 0 which is a DC source. The diode connected MOSFET equivalent will be a resistance which is 1 over GM2 representing that it is for M2 device in parallel with RD2 and at times we will choose to write simply R02 both are same and now the MOSFET M1 so when it comes to M1 we have a current source in parallel with R0 which we will call R01 and this is GM1 VGS1 and the output is taken across this which is V0 and we have gate to source voltage which is VGS equal to VN. Now we will improvise uh, drawing this equivalent small signal model because every time drawing this portion is usually the most painful thing. So hence what we do is to simplify this I am going to draw the same circuit but in a simplified way. So this is how the circuit will be. Now we know that R01 or simply R0 is a representation for channel length modulation. Now this circuit we have encircled in the red color one can be shown with the ideal MOSFET there without channel length modulation which means this ideal MOSFET here is going to let GM times VGS small signal current to flow through which is dependent on obviously VGS that is here so that we don't have to draw this circuit it will be very simple. The overall resistance through which the GM VGS will go through will be R01 in parallel with 1 over GM2 in parallel with R02. This will be the overall resistance that it will flow through. As the current is flowing through this way, the voltage here will be positive, here it will be negative, which is in fact exactly in reverse to that of the output voltage measured. Hence, the output voltage will be minus of GM times VGS times the resistance through which it is going through that is R01 in parallel with 1 over GM2 in parallel with R02. We know that VGS is equal to VN hence we can write the voltage amplification factor is equal to V0 over VN equal to minus GM times R01 in parallel with 1 over GM2 in parallel with R02 and we can write about the input resistance obviously we are directly looking into the MOSFET input for input resistance then what we see would be infinity and the output resistance as we calculated in the previous video it will be the load resistance capital RD in parallel with R01. In this case it will be R01 in parallel with the diode connected loads small signal resistance which is 1 over GM2 in parallel with R02. Hope you like this video. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.